Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be looking at an Apple Color Monitor 2E. Uh, I've received this monitor with a lot of other things and it uh, doesn't seem to power on because the switch is faulty. So I'm not sure if that's the only problem, but that is certainly a major problem, not being able to turn it on. So let's see if we can fix it. So we've got this color monitor 2e um, it doesn't have the front door that folds up which is pretty typical a lot of those have been lost over time but uh you know i don't know too much about this i got it in a lot of other stuff and the power button does not work so we got it plugged in and obviously it's in the off position unfortunately but we can't uh fire it up to test it out so let's take it apart and see if we can't fix that power button and hopefully that's all that's wrong with it but we'll find out so first thing to do is unplug it i don't want to take apart the monitor while it's plugged in so in the back we've got one two three four i don't think there's any on the bottom Maybe there are five, six. See, I think we got six screws to take out here. So we'll start a screw cup. Get a screwdriver. And then we'll start taking this back case off. All right, and while I've got it tipped forward, you can see it's got the six rubber feet here all on the front of the monitor because it's made to sit on top of an Apple IIe. So the back would just hang off the, the back of the IIe. All right, so I think we've got all the screws. We should be able to ideally get this apart. I'm gonna lay it face down. All right, so the Car cord goes through the opening on the back of the shell. Take that out, put the back shell aside. Right. Let's spin it around so the power button uh, is right here. It looks like it's on its own little board, so we should be able to just pop this out. So here's our power button. So this is what pushes this in. And yeah, it looks like there's some broken plastic around here, but it seems like the button itself is mechanically okay. A little spacer there on top of the uh, little board the LED's on. So maybe we can figure out a way to resurrect these plastic switches and get them to work again. But with this open. Let's go ahead and set it down and plug it in and see if it actually does work. Yep, that doesn't look so good. Definitely trying to display something, but not quite working. All right, so uh, I went online and posted to uh, an Apple II enthusiast group, and they said that it's probably the H sync that's broken. Uh, and yeah, I would say that makes sense because. This line here that's on two lines should be on one line, same with this text, so uh, I'm told there's an adjustment for that somewhere. I mean, these pots are all really scratchy. Right, let's see if we can't fix it. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, Alright, well that was super easy. Alright, well I guess now we just need to work on the uh, the power button. So let's unplug it and do that. Alright, so let's see how this switch works. So we can't figure out a way to repair it. So it sits here, like so. Okay, and the button 
goes in here, like so. Yeah, okay. So the button here is uh, missing a big old chunk of itself on the top of it here. I don't see it in here, unfortunately. That's the diffuser for the LED. I'll just leave that out for now. So we need to construct something here to be able to push it, push into the button. So right now it's going under it instead of pushing it. And this looks like it's also broken here as well. So you know, the combination of the two, I don't know if I can show that or not, but so the bottom of the white is missing and then the top of the beige is missing, so they kind of just don't connect. And I'm supposed to push it like that, but it's missing parts. So I think if we can fix something to this, we should be able to get it to work. I wonder what we can use. Hmm, what would be good? Let's see if I have anything in here that might look suitable. This might work okay. I wonder if it's too long. We could trim it up. This is a riser from like a uh, AT board. So if we glue that on, I think that has a good chance of working. So we'll use the old super glue baking soda trick. That's gonna work. And if you're curious about the uh, super glue baking soda mixture, uh, check out my other video on it. Uh, you can find it on my channel. Um, it's where I uh, talk about repairing brittle plastics on vintage machines. All right, I think we're good to go here. So I guess let's see if it works. Pretty solid. So we put this in here. No, oh, it's sticking out a little far. And if I put this all the way in where it would be bolted in, I can't quite push it in. So a little bit too much of a gap there. Um, I think we could fix that by just removing some of this switch. Or we could put some spacers here on these screws to kind of hold things back just a little bit further. I think the spacers is not the best idea. So I'm just gonna take the end of this off just a little bit. I hope I don't regret it later. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit more off. Reconnect to that. Alright, let's try that out. Yeah, looks like that has fixed it. Alright, so I think this monitor is ready to go back together. Let's do some 
testing. So let's hook this up to the 2GS and see how it looks. So now with the uh, color monitor 2E, it's not really meant to be used with the 2GS. The 2GS does have composite output and this does take composite obviously, but this is really meant to be used with a 2, 2 plus, 2E. Um, 2E monitor, 2E machine makes sense. So it's not gonna look the best here. Um, one thing this does have is it's got the black and white. You can turn on for 80 column mode. So if you're doing 80 column on a 2E to do you know text or whatever, uh, this monitor is really sharp in that mode. But we're not using that. So we can adjust some of the color properties here. Tint and color. Ooh. That's brightness. Yeah, this monitor's got a lot of life left in it. The CRT is nice and strong. This is the H-Sync, which was the control that was initially wrong. So yeah, I think overall this looks okay. It doesn't look great with the 2GS, um, but it really needed 2E to uh, test this out. Cool, well, we got it working. Turns off, turns on, things look really good. So yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.